My name is Av Utukuri. This is Jason King. We're from Banto, a brand new Canadian company that is involved in creating the most unique touchscreen applications and technologies in the world. Our touchscreens are unique in the sense that they're truly multi-touch. So it doesn't matter if it's one, two, three, four, five fingers on the screen at the same time. They can seamlessly track it with no ghost points, no virtual points, and at the same time it never skips, it never jars. It doesn't matter how light you, lightly you touch the screen, it immediately responds at hundreds of frames per second. And it also requires a very thin bezel around the perimeter of the glass. And it's not a function of the mechanical structure of the LCD screen at all. So any type of touchscreen can be deployed from any size. One of the most unique aspects of our technology is not only the fact that it can detect multi-touch, but it can also detect the thickness of the touch that's actually happening. So you can see in the demo here, we're able to dynamically pick up the individual size of the bristles that are touching the screen and change the stroke accordingly. So you'll see that we can modulate the thickness based on the pressure as to how wide and how hard you're actually pushing down on the screen. And it doesn't matter if it's a brush or a finger. You could actually modulate the thickness even with a finger. It doesn't matter if it's a fingernail touching it, if it doesn't matter if it's the edge or the tip of the finger or the forearm of the palm that's actually touching the screen. It actually works seamlessly at hundreds of frames a second. And regardless of the number of touches, the frame rate doesn't change. And the technology can actually scale from 8 inches all the way to 20 feet long. We're actually doing development work on a 20-foot video wall that can actually simultaneously process 40 to 50 touches. Our technology can scale from any type of products, from whether it be ATM kiosks to uh, photo kiosks and shopping malls, all the way through to tablets and home PCs. Uh, to commercial and industrial applications because of its durability and scalability.